Hey what's up guys, I'm Sal from Chronostack and this right here is the Corsair Vengeance K17 Mechanical Keyboard and it's got awesome MX Cherry keys. This keyboard has the same packaging as the Strafe keyboard but this only comes with a single color light array which in my case is blue. The single color LEDs help in keeping the price low and performance on par with the higher keyboards out there. Yep. Red Cherry MX keys offer good tactile feedback and is equipped with poor key lighting so that every single key has an LED beneath it that gives the overall keyboard a really nice color. The keyboard comes with contoured and textured WSAD keys to give you that special gaming feel and allows you for easy setting between MOBA and FPS color profiles. The Cherry MX keys eliminate the effort you need to put to press the keys and make the overall experience a bit better. You can see all the features on the back of the keyboard. The keyboard comes with all the great features that every single mechanical keyboard has in the market and it's priced pretty less. It supports different lightning modes comes with aircraft grade aluminium to keep your keyboard going on for a long time. And it comes with 100% anti-ghosting so you won't face a problem while trying to break a gaming record and go Floyd Mayweather over that keyboard. A soft detachable wrist rest is offered with it to support your wrist from strain or sprain from prolonged usage. One of the cool features is the USB pass through that allows you to connect a secondary USB device like a mouse without reaching out too far and a legacy BIOS mode support along with polling rate selector so you don't face any lag or delay whatsoever. Alright, let's unbox the keyboard and see what's on the inside. Alright, so this right here is the keyboard itself. Surely has some weight to it. Let's take this off. So yeah, nicely built and the metallic look, the finish is absolutely stunning. These right here are the contour WSAD keys along with the key extractor. These come in red color so you can easily see and differentiate between the other keys on the keyboard. Now next thing in the box are a couple of guys, you should surely check them out if you're starting into the gaming scene. These will surely help you figure out what's what and how to utilize the capabilities of this keyboard. The last thing in the box is the soft wrist rest. Let's take this out. Now this is some really good quality stuff right here. It feels really soft and it's, I guess it should be really easy to work with. The keyboard looks really beautiful with all the keys in a single aluminium sheet. The base of the keyboard gets really lit up with the keys but not like the white base which actually gives you more light but still this looks like a very decent combo of the color and the color keys. I changed to the contour keys right out of the box because they look cool. All you need to do is just pick up the key extractor tool, push it over a key, hold the keyboard still and pull it out. Replace it with the new one and it won't take much time to change all of them. Just don't break something doing this otherwise you'll probably feel bad. Once you're done, you can see how nice the keys feel and they have a really good texture and they have a special contour that gives every key a different feeling. By every I just mean the WSAD keys, a different feeling and you'll know exactly what you're pressing. They have the contours in different directions in which the keys go. The overall build quality of the keyboard is pretty solid and it doesn't feel cheap at all. You basically get what you're paying for, right? So that's what it is. The metallic finish looks really great and the keys are soft to feel and it looks really good illuminated. Now guys, I've almost used this keyboard for a month now and the full review will be out tomorrow explaining everything I liked about the keyboard and what I really missed. If you liked the video then don't forget to hit the like button and if there's anything that you want to ask about this keyboard or, or any of its features then don't forget to write them in the comment section below. I'll surely answer you in my next video. Thanks for watching the video guys. This is Kronstek and I'll see you in the next one.